Welcome back to her story. The last thing we learned was Eve's story of Hannah's story of how Simon was killed. The argument, um, Hannah pretending to be Eve and Simon saying that he wanted to be with her. And then Hannah getting angry, breaking the mirror, them arguing, and then he hit her and then she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just meant to scare him away but accidentally cut his throat. At least, that's Eve's story of Hannah's story. Is it true? I don't know. So let's do some more digging. Um, let's look and see if there's any more mentions of Simon's throat being cut. Let's search for throat. Ah, uh, here's one. And his throat. So that's them showing, telling her about Simon's murder and how his throat was cut. Mm. Alright, that's it for throat. What about any more mentions of a cellar? Uh, here's one. Well, fine, considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird, knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. Any worse, obviously. I don't know. I haven't looked in the cellar yet. They sent a cleaner in. As good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. So... Funeral and cremation. I should probably search for those as well. See if there's any more mention of an alibi. Nope, just the one. Alright, and what about Simon's glasses? Yeah, it looks like I've already searched for that. Although, that shows only the first five entries. There's one more. There's six entries. Let me see if I can narrow it down with a dumb word. Oh my god, I can't spell. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Where is the sixth entry that mentions glasses? Hmm. Oh my god, that is an elusive entry. It must not have many words in it. Seriously? Oh wait, you know what? I've probably already found it and I've just... Yeah, you know what? One of those search results must have actually had it. It's just that I've already seen it, but I found it through searching for a different keyword, probably. Yeah, okay. Funeral. Yes. It was a cremation. For the best. We both wore black and had veils, so it was easy. And after the funeral, everyone came back to the house. Had served up sandwiches. And I stayed out of sight. Any more mentions of cremation? Well, it would help if I spell it correctly. Nope, just the two. What about any mentions of blood? Hmm. There's three that I haven't seen yet. And in this one, she isn't even in the frame. Oh. Okay. Oh, she gets up. I've given blood before. Do you need to take that few records? No, don't take blood. Don't take a blood sample. I'll faint. Okay, good. Doesn't show anything. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to think about that. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. The blood. It's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. 
should have sat behind him. She had my wig on. Oh. And she'd been there all day. And she had blood on her. And she was in shock. Okay, this is another key piece of that, like, big... Confession. Confession isn't really the right word, because... From what she's saying, you know, Eve is not actually the one who's done something wrong, it's... It's Hannah. But anyway, um, did I add custom tags to these? No, I guess I didn't. I really should've. I want to check the timestamp on this. How does that fit into the big story? 12.03. So this is a little bit before. This is like a minute before this. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come. Yeah, okay, so this is right after she talked about finding Hannah with the wig on, covered in blood, standing in shock, or sitting in shock, in shock, near Simon's body. And then she talked to Eve, and then... Is that she'd waited for him to come back. And that's what Hannah told Eve, okay. Isn't it funny? That means if you searched for her story right from the very beginning, you would have found one of the key, most key pieces of information. <laughs> Literally just search for the name of the game. That's ironic. I should put custom tags on this. What should I call it? Confession? Let's call it her story. Okay, that doesn't leave me with any keywords left to search for, actually. Um, how much is left in the database? A fair amount. I've already searched for some common words, you know, and is the... I'm just gonna keep typing random stuff. <laughs> Floor. Roof. House. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Simon left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. That's right, I think it was way back to the very first time I played this game, the very first episode, where she was mentioning driving, right? How she was driving and, like, she hit a taxi and she didn't have her license on her, and I was wondering, like, why didn't you have your license on you? You know, what were you doing driving there? In fact, let me find that. She mentioned a taxi. Must have been this one. When I arrived in Glasgow, I was exhausted. Yeah, so this is after the argument, when she was pissed and drove away to just to, to breathe, to get some space. I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Hmm, did I ever search for scratch? Scratch on the car, scratch, no. You know, I can't remember what the argument was about.
Even though I've already seen this one, I want to look at this again to see if I can figure out what the argument was about, because I don't remember. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job. He didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. Wait. This doesn't seem to match. Friday. We had an argument. He left. I thought she was the one that left and drove away. Is this Eve or Hannah talking right now? I don't know who's the... Which one it is in the blue? Mm hmm. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes Gloms. I also forgot who Helen was. Who is Helen? No. I mean, yes, we have arguments, but he never runs off. He always comes back. We make up. It's always that way. Helen. Who is Helen again? It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. Oh, one of the owners? No, it's run by Peter and Susan. Other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. Oh, she's a barmaid. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Hmm. Okay. She said he likes blondes, so I'll search for blonde. <laughs> this other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Okay, so they're mentioning, right, she mentioned something about hair being found in the attic, right? And the police were, I guess, thinking maybe there's somebody else in the attic? And that's her saying it wasn't somebody else. The blonde. Yeah, the blonde wig is just something that Eve or Hannah, or maybe both, would put on sometimes. Hmm. Now, this had a lot of entries, right? Yeah, this is this has nine. Let's try to narrow it down, see if there's any others. Here's one. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm quite a private person, and I didn't want to get into the detail of the argument. From when I woke up. Okay. I, uh, I woke up. Simon was already up and he made me birthday breakfast of eggs benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work so we saved presents to later. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake, children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway. Um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left. I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. We talked about the baby, and it turned into a big argument. So that's what the argument was about, the baby. It was about Eve's baby. Hmm. Also, I just realized I have no idea what Hannah does for work. We know Eve is, like, she's a singer. She's a musician. And we know Simon works with glass. But I don't know what what Hannah does. No. I'm not sure what strange would be, but he hasn't been acting odd. 
It's been busy at work, but nothing too stressful. Well, she said she went to work. Um, I, I think that was Hannah talking before. She said she went to work and the children sing her happy birthday, so does that mean she's maybe like a teacher? Bunch of new ones. Yes, that's my birthday. Not one of the big ones, but I guess you can see that. It was my birthday, like you said. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. Well, a week or so ago. It would have been the Saturday before my birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends, have a lie-in, then want to get up and blitz the house. I wonder if I'm missing anything major at this point. I feel like maybe I've found the main stuff and I'm just looking at little tiny clips. I don't know. I still feel like I'm missing something. Sorry to search for work, right? Hmm. Uh, let's see if there's any more mentions of the Friday night argument. No. Argue? Instead of argument? There's, there's one. When you've been married for ten years, stuff accumulates. You could argue about anything. And he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over, and that just makes it worse. We're both passive-aggressive, so we never normally argue directly about anything. Hmm. All right, I'm out of keywords again. More random stuff. Car. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. When I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. And I... Oh, me. Is there a bin? Ew. Okay, so that's got to be Eve then, right? Morning sickness. Yeah, I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. I just know that if I cross-reference stuff and, like, if I knew exactly which one was Eve and which one was Hannah in every single clip, and I cross-reference stuff across these hundreds of clips, I know I'd find something. It's just, it's so scattered, you know? So many different pieces to this puzzle. And some of them, you know, I haven't actually even seen for days. They're stuff I found days ago, so it's hard to remember them exactly. It's just, I know there's stuff here. Something. But I don't know what it is, and I know it's right in front of me somewhere in this list of dozens and dozens and hundreds of clips. I know I already searched for Glasgow. Yeah. It's like I told you before, I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. 
Everything I told you before is true. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. Everything was fine. I slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a payphone. She wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. Okay, so the one who drove was Eve. Eve was the one who drove. Not Hannah. I think this is another one. Right? Another her story? Isn't it from around the same time? Well, there's one entry that's actually off here. Hmm. I'm running out of stuff to search for. I mean, I could search for literally random stuff. Water. Sea. Cup. Oh, wow. <laughs> who, who knew Cup would be such a fountain of new information? Um, could I have a cup of tea? Tea would be good, thanks. Just one sugar. Oh, maybe I haven't found very useful information. Maybe a fresh cup of tea? Wow, she she drank a lot of tea. Oh, okay. Um, I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house, I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted out for him. I walked straight into the kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom, he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. And then I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I swear I've heard this before. Haven't I heard this before? I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. That enough? I swear I heard that before. Let me, let me search for that. See if there's maybe two of them. Okay, so this is the one I just watched, and this is the one before. They're both almost exactly the same length, and this one that I just watched is from like a day later, a day or two later. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Yeah, this is the same. <sighs> okay. Um... I parked up on the street. Are they asking her to repeat her story to... To make sure that she's not lying? Like, are, are they asking her, you know, tell me what you did, blah blah blah, again? Or is one even one Hannah? I parked up on the street. 
Is this why they were accusing her of rehearsing her answers? Because she sounded like she was saying exactly the same thing. I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I parked in the street. I parked up on the street. Wait. Down the end of the road. Parked up on the street. Parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. It was busy. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Okay, that's almost the same. I feel like if I really, really examine this, I'm going to find either eerie consistency, sounding like it's rehearsed, or some little inconsistency. The main lock was unlocked. Yeah, that's what the other clip said. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. Shoes weren't there. Oh, <sighs> yep, same thing. Turn to the left. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. Shoes, yep. Shut it out. Yep, the tea. Um, it wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I touched the kettle, it was cold. Wait. I walked straight to the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea. Yeah, I touched the kettle. It was cold. There. Living room. No. Upstairs. No. Had a shower. Phone rang. It was Eric. Yep. Had a shower. Eric didn't answer it. Fell asleep. Surprised. Eric called again. Spoke. Then I decided to come and see you. Yeah, it's the same. Are they just re-questioning her, or...? Or what? Which one is even? Which one's Hannah? Like, with these two... With what they're wearing, I don't actually know. You know, some of them I know which one, like this, I know this is Eve. Is she wearing the same thing? The background looks different, but just the clothes, I mean, it looks like the same shirt. So does that mean that is Eve? And who is this? Is this Eve, or is that Hannah? I don't know. I don't know. Oh god. Alright, well, I got a bunch more keywords that I want to search for. Uh, key. Yes. I always pull it shut and then lock the bigger lock with the key. Um, no. No, I don't think it was. I turned the key, but it was already unlocked. Any more mentions of T? Six entries. What is the sixth T? T, please. Oh. Here we go. This is from around the confession, like the, the big story time, her story. Um, when she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is very important. Yeah. A birthday tea. Oh my god, I really want to make tea right now. Oh, I had tea this morning, but I want to make another cup right now. You know, I'm going to go make some tea. I'm going to cancel this clip. I'll be right back. There we go. I went and got myself a lovely cup of tea. Let's go ahead and turn the webcam off. Mmm. So good. Anyway, I think you're saying something extremely important. What were you saying? Uh, when she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. She knew that instant. 
the look on his face. She knew, I think she's talking about either the baby, she knew that the baby was actually Simon's, or she knew that he was in love with her and wanted to be with her, or, or maybe both. Alright, so that's when Hannah told Simon about... Or, sorry, that's... Yeah, that's when Hannah told Simon about Eve. Yeah. And this is also around the time of that big, really important kind of confession. Those are the clips that I really want. I want those. And at some point, I need to go back and I need to put them in order. And watch all of them back to back. You know, I need, I need these to have better tags, because it's going to be hard to find them all. Hmm. God, I wish it was easier to sort these. It's gonna be so hard. You can't even scroll by like moving to the side or anything like that. I have to use the scroll wheel. Like this. Ugh. Well, I'll do that at some point. Alright, so that's uh, key, tea. <laughs> any, any mentions of coffee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, didn't she say something about caffeine and pregnancy, I think? Yes. But a coffee and a pastry. Pastry. Mm. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hmm. I don't know. I mean, is that actually true? Like caffeine. I mean, caffeine is not great for the body. Like it's a stimulant, and you know, avoiding stimulants and avoiding a lot of things, like obviously alcohol, and just kind of avoiding anything that's you know, modifies how your body works is generally a good idea, especially when you're pregnant. Um, so I guess it would be a good idea to avoid coffee. But if you avoid coffee, then you should avoid tea, too. Unless it's like herbal tea or something like that, but if it's actual, if it's actual tea, like black tea leaves or something like that, you know, tea has caffeine. Not as much as coffee, but it does have caffeine. Coffee, I guess. Milk and sugar. Hmm. So there she's actually not asking for tea. Uh, but she says coffee, I guess, as if maybe she's maybe that's after she asked for tea and they said, sorry, we don't have any. So then she's like, alright, I'll take coffee instead. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Because I just searched for tea. Let's see if I can find any ones where she's wearing the same thing and asking for tea. And check the timestamps. Mm, she's got a cup out, so that can't be from the same time. Still got a cup. Cup, cup. 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 I'm looking at all the clips where she's wearing the same clothes. Yeah, she's always got a cup. Hold on. Anywhere she doesn't have a cup? Tea, please. Could I have a tea? Uh, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's not important. Any mentions of sugar? Uh, there's a couple. Just the one sugar. Thanks. Is that kind of recording? Just write down some more keywords here. Um, black no sugar. Thanks. Black no sugar? Hmm? Is this a difference between Eve and Hannah? They both seem to like tea. One did ask for coffee, but I think that's because they're out of tea. One of them, I believe, usually likes one sugar and I think milk. Milk, milk, milk. Milk and sugar. Well, milk and sugar for the coffee. What about for the tea? Just a cup. Just the one sugar. Okay, so just sugar. 
Yeah, so she likes tea, black, no sugar. Except here, she asks for... Coffee, I guess. A black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. So I guess she likes her coffee black and her tea with one sugar, I think? Or is there a diff- I don't know. Maybe there's a difference in the amount of sugar Eve versus Hannah likes, but I'm gonna say that's probably not important. Shower. So those are, yeah, once again, those are those two clips where she's mentioning basically the exact same story. Coming home, Simon isn't there, his coat isn't on the rack, blah blah blah, took a shower, Eric called, fell asleep. Uh, not in that order. <laughs> Any more mentions of one? 43, wow. Hmm. What about camera? Is that camera recording? Recording. Just those two mentions of, is that camera recording? What if I narrow down one? One... One... <laughs> one what? One... Dummy words again? Just and, is... Oh, here's some new ones. Hmm. It looks like she has water there. I've never searched... Well, no, 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 I did search for water. Glass. Maybe I should search for glass. Like, and I have a glass of something. Yeah. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here, because I remember well, I went over the river. And then there was a church. There. Yeah. And I probably part well I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. I think so. I mean to get into our garden, we'd have to climb through other gardens. All the gardens back onto each other, so you'd have to climb over one, two, three gardens to get to ours. I mean, did anyone see anything? Did anyone see anyone come and go? An intruder? Alright, so she's talking about the possibility of... Or, or they're, they're asking her, is it possible someone, you know, came in, broke into their house and killed Simon? Uh, so yeah, search for glass, like, can I have a glass of this, that, no. River? No. Church? No. She mentioned Prince's Street. Prince's. Oh, here's a couple. I don't know if anyone really changes. You just become more yourself. Simon was my prince, and that hasn't changed. Oh, yeah, so we're not getting mentions of uh, Princess Street, but she is talking about the kind of fantasy stuff. You know, they like fantasy stories as a kid. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a post on Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Alright, I'm getting a bunch of keywords. I don't feel like I'm learning anything particularly important for the most part, but I'm getting a bunch of keywords. She mentioned a garden. We loved our cat, Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell, and we'd get them sent them to each other. 
mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. <laughs> and we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. That's cute. <laughs> Sending a cat in between <laughs> as the carrier, like the carrier pigeon cat, basically. Search for princess. Yeah, we were 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. She mentioned Princess Diana a couple times. Sorry, I've already seen all of those. Divorce. Just the one. Uh, the cat Domino. Any more mentions of the cat? No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. It was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. She mentioned the cat flap before, right? Like somebody sneaking into it. Oh, here's anyone. No, they were shut. Most of the windows were really hard to open anyway. It's stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Oh, there's a cat flap in the back door. Yeah, this must be the one where she mentions, check the cat flap. No, no cat. No, no, no. I guess it's this one. This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? Yeah, I guess she's saying, have you looked at it? Like, it's way too damn small for somebody to go through, right? I think that's what she's saying. Hmm. Well, once again, that has exhausted my list of keywords. How am I looking on the database? I've seen most of it. It looks like I've got about f probably four fifths of it done. Four fifths, three fifths, or uh, sorry, four fifths, or maybe three fourths. Definitely seventy-five percent or more. But there's still missing. There's still too many missing blocks for me to be comfortable. I want to find every single damn one. Chances are I'm not going to find every single one. There's probably going to be a couple, but I at least want to find, like, 95%. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here, so it doesn't run too long. Yeah, this has been this has been pretty unsatisfying. I, f I found lots of clips, but for the most part, they haven't told me anything particularly interesting. I'm trying to think of what to summarize as far as what we learned, but I'm not really sure. We learned they had a cat, Domino. They used to pass messages between them. Um, they like tea with one sh black one sugar, and they like their coffee black no sugar. I guess <laughs> not exactly important information. Um, I did unearth a couple more clips from that really really important time, right? The her story time. Yeah, I found a couple more. Like I said before, it was three. Yeah, so I got a couple more of those. Talking about how she came there and saw Hannah in shock with the, the wig on. I already searched for wig, didn't I? No! Ooh, there's a bunch of mentions of the wig. Hmm. The blonde wig. Simon loved blondes. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to save that as a cliffhanger. That is going to be the one keyword that I have written down for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.